YouTube, your main inspiration, your favorite waiver back again in this thing, Dorian. What's up with y'all, man? I've been hearing something about y'all, man. I've been hearing. See, some of y'all got waves, but you ain't reign king yet, man. You haven't reign king yet because you don't have your crown right. Y'all boys gotta get your crown game up, man. Today, I'm gonna be helping y'all get y'all's crown right. But first, we gotta establish the answer to the question. What is the best crown? Well, look, you got the beehive, you got the swirl crown, right? I don't know, man, the beehive just seemed a little basic to me. The beehive is, it ain't nothing against none of these crowns, man, but it's just preference at the end of the day. But the beehive is like the most basic crown you can have when you first start off, man. It's like level five, halfway point. When you got the beehive mastered, then it's time to go up the next crown, bro. Cause you gotta have the, way, the crown established even before you get the swirl. So you get to the, you get the beehive right. Then you upgrade, you, you power up to the next level. And then that's when the swirl come in, man. So look, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get the best crown, the swirl crown, in my humble opinion. It's a couple different things that you could use to aid you in establishing the swirl crown when you're trying to get it. All right, so for the items that you're gonna need, the most important items right here is gonna be the toothbrush, number one most important. And for my preference, a curve brush, specifically the Torino Pro Curve Brushes because they got the tip just for isolating that crown and it's pointed. If you got like a, a curve brush, but it's flat, you can't really hit the crown like that unless you use the corner and do some type of crazy magic manipulation. We're not doing all that extra stuff, man. So that, those are those two. And we got a comb for combing the waves around that and also getting it deeper and, and making it look better around the crown. You got the plastic bag for laying it down once you got it, you know, how you want it, man. Just run the plastic bag over it real quick. And lastly, to seal it all off, bro, this is a must. You need this, bro. The crown patch, man. You need the crown patch. If you ain't got a crown patch, man, you ain't ready to take this snot. You good, you good, you good. If you got a crown patch, if you ain't got a crown patch, your crown patch in the mail, bro, you can still participate. But make sure you get that as soon as possible. All right. So first of all, what I need y'all to understand that the crown is important, bro. It's very important because the way your pattern is, the way you brush your waves is based off of the crown. You know, you gotta establish that. Mine is not too off center, so it ain't that much to account for for all around. But if you got one like way to the right side or way to the left side, then you gotta have to section it off a little more specifically. And you gotta have a different technique than if it's just more center so don't focus on the crown too much when you just getting started you gotta focus on the crown once you got the whole waves fully locked in man fully 100 percent. you got your wolves in you got your waves established you got the beehive and now it's time for the swirl or if you really want to go ahead man you could jump straight into the swirl like looking back I go ahead and I would jump straight into the swirl. So what you gotta basically do, bro, get those waves outside of the crown right and then use the toothbrush to tighten the crown up. That's really all that I do. It's real simple. Make sure you're hitting your angles. And then this is the part where you use the toothbrush. Now you could take the pomade. Some people like to take some pomade and put some on the crown to help them move it. I usually don't do that because my crown is pretty easy to move. And then you kind of just go in a swirl pattern. So let me see. And if you go really tight, man, you could crow, you could close the crown, but you gotta train it. Kind of brushing the swirl motion little by little, each angle. And then sometimes, if I really need to, like if I really don't know where it's at, then I'll just tip my fingers, swirl it around. Yeah, 
that's really it, bro. It's kind of hard to show y'all with these angles. I hope y'all get the point, though. It's like, you just kind of go little by little, man, until you fully complete that swirl, one angle by one angle. And then you just keep doing that around and around until you master that. Make sure you have the waves around it, brushed in the proper angles. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plastic bag it to tighten it up a little bit. All right, so that's kind of what my crown looks like when I got it. Kind of how I want it, man. I've been neglecting the waves a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but it's very subtle. Very subtle swirl. And it's not all uh, blatant look like you bought him with the beehive. That's one thing about it, bro. If you beehive and it's too big of a uh, like patch in the middle, it kind of looks like you're bought in a little bit. So this is kind of my my decent decent crown. You know, ain't the best crown in the world, but that's kind of how I rock it, man. And then when it's all said and done, you got the crown how you want to do it. Y'all, make sure that you throw the crown patch on to seal it up, man. When you put the do-rag on without the crown patch, it's kind of like it has a little gap in that where your head takes the dip. And it's the space. Literally, it's the space where the crown is. So you put the patch on, not only does it seal it up, but it fills the gap and it gives it that full snug do-rag hold. So that's really all you got to do not too much to this crown stuff so that's it for today's video man make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on the post notifications it's your boy dorian we gone